They call themselves the Night Brigades. Their job, protecting Haiti's homeless at their most vulnerable, using whatever weapons they can find. The men are all residents of this camp for families displaced by the earthquake in the sprawling slum of Cité Soleil. Like similar groups forming around the city, it's a volunteer community response to worsening security in Port-au-Prince after dark. After patrolling for little over an hour, they come across a woman clearly in distress. The guards hold no official powers. After interviewing her and her partner, they have to let everyone go. This is one of the poorest neighborhoods in Port-au-Prince, which means at night it's also one of the most dangerous places to be. And that's why these people have started forming their own security brigades, but with only 10 people to protect a tent city of more than 5,000, many here are often left to fend for themselves. On the streets of Port-au-Prince by day, Haitian police say crime rates are rising fast. The UN has sent in 3,500 troops to replace the departing U.S. soldiers, but police officers say they need more help. We lost a lot of cops. Our efficiency is down. We don't even have cars, and things are really quickly getting out of control. In the city's hospitals, more and more patients are arriving with injuries not caused by the earthquake. This nine-year-old boy was caught in the crossfire when gunfire erupted on a street corner. Dr. Carol Johnson says while Haiti's no stranger to violence, hospitals across the capital are now receiving several gunshot victims a day. That's very different from 2006. Why? And then the violence was, was concentrated here in uh, Cité Soleil uh, with the gangs that were very active at that time. Now, as, a, as I said, uh, it's, it seems to be much more linked to, to criminality. Medical officials say the violence could be the result of rising stress levels in the camps and that cases of rape and domestic abuse are far higher than they were just a few weeks ago. It's great to have them here. I appreciate the initiative to give us security at night, this woman told me. With more than a million still homeless two months after the earthquake, there'll be more long nights to come. Sebastian Walker, Al Jazeera, in Port-au-Prince, Haiti.